just make sure we're coming in live. There we are. Nice. Hi everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the live stream. Today, today is March 28th, 2023. This day two of our live streaming on our patio uh, for the second day, I guess, for uh, 2023. Uh, yesterday we shot the video shooting this way, so we saw the patio in this direction. Now we're shooting it this way. I'll give you guys a look on the patio uh, once people start rolling in. Uh, just to show everyone uh, what the patio looks like before uh, I go into full-blown growth season mode. Uh, just clean up the place and start planting things and if things need rearranging, uh, certain things may need rearranging um, to rearrange stuff. So we'll spend a fair bit of time here during the spring, summer, fall of 2023 hopefully fingers crossed weather permitting and we'll slowly see our garden grow and we'll harvest some goodies and eat them up and uh, make liqueurs this is liqueur from uh, our grapes that we harvested last year we did a liqueur video where we uh, actually we did a grape harvesting video one or two and we did a liqueur video where we showed the uh, uh, putting this together. We're gonna sample it today. Padre, Padre, Padre. How are you doing? Hey, brother. I got the gem. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. 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 <laughs> nice. Padre won some uh, couple of gems uh, in our yearly Twitch auction and uh, finally ended up sending it out to him. It took us a while. It took us a while to connect, uh, but he ended up getting it. So that's fantastic. Alf Alfi Solomon's 92. Wait, so what happened to your garden? Well, we're starting it up again, right? It's uh, the new season, right? So just doing our first two live streams. We did one yesterday. We do one today just to see what the garden looks like uh, before we get growth, right? We still have some chard. We've got one kale growing and we've got lots of chard, like survived through the winter. Chard survives through the winter, but some of our kale didn't. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight. We got like eight or nine charred plants that survived the winter and they look really good. Uh, so happy about that. Uh, so we're not going to plant any new chart this year, but we'll plant other things and uh, see what we can grow, right? She know, how are you doing? Salutations, salutations. What the buck 07? How's it going? Hey, Chicho, I need to try some of your fruit liqueur. Mm. I had a little bit of this this morning. I wasn't sure what we we're going to drink today because we did pretty heavy drinking yesterday with the, <laughs> with the whiskey. Right, Took down a third of uh, uh, the bottle yesterday. I didn't realize how much I was drinking until I got up and I went, ooh, not got to my head. Uh, so we took that out third of a 26 or yesterday so i was going to take a little slower today right <laughs> so i brought up the liqueurs this is uh plums that i picked from uh where did i pick these plums uh from just going out for a walk in the forest uh found some plums picked the plums um it might have been at the beach i can't remember where we picked these from oh yeah it was on the way to the beach from someone's yard that they allow us to pick so Pick some plums. Got some plum liqueur going on here. Very tart. I just had a little bit. And the grape from our grapevines, right? Uh, so we're going to drink a little bit of that with soda. Deliciousness, deliciousness, right? Uh, yeah, liqueurs. Good stuff. We're going we're gonna to clean up the liqueur cabinet uh, this summer too. So how long do you normally let it ferment? Uh, this one, well, it's not really fermenting, right? Like, they're not... As far as I know, they're not fermenting. They're just the the flavor of the fruit is, you know, being absorbed by the alcohol with the sugar mixing in there, right? So each fruit gives it a different flavor. Uh, and depends how much sugar you add. Uh, it does that, right? Lucian, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. 990 live chase 15 minutes ago on youtube of a guy who stole a police cruiser and jumped out at 44 miles an hour <laughs> don't try this at home boys and girls <laughs> 
<laughs> in Texas, I think. That usually happens in uh, California, in LA, the highway helicopter shoots, right? The balloon. Watch the balloon, gang. <laughs> Did he try to run at 44 miles an hour? Jump and run. Do, 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 do. Hilarious, crazy ass. Uh, what the bug? Right, I forgot you add the alcohol after. Yeah, for sure. We add the alcohol. We add the sugar, fruit, sugar, alcohol. Shake it up. Make sure the sugar dissolves in, in, the, uh, in the alcohol. Might take a few days and then you're good to go. And then I'm sure it's posted on uh, YouTube. Ayo, ayo, ayo. Panic, how are you doing? Welcome to another live stream. Shino, weird, uh, weird question. Have you ever ghosted someone? or been ghosted ever uh i'm pretty sure i've been ghosted before have i ghosted people i don't know uh if i'm if i'm gonna break a friendship with someone uh i just tell them straight up <laughs> we're done right uh and sometimes it's like no we're done i piss off sometimes it's like dude we're going you know i love you like a brother or a sister or whatever we're just going down different directions and i've done that to some people uh some friends but you know i can't hang out with you no more right so we part ways we're still very close but we may never talk again right i don't consider them enemy or anyone that i don't like it's just we're going down different paths right and there might be construction sound gang uh they're still going at it they're still going at it uh, Alfie, I also just watched the video of the police taking down that school shooter. Yeah, yeah, I saw that too. I saw that too. I thought it was initially it was a video game thing. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's like they're using live action for a video game, which is I don't like. I would rather have animation. Cheryl, happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday. Hope you're doing well. Baseman, something, 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 something. Chicho, been listening to yesterday's stream and looking forward to it all, all day. Happy Tuesday, all. Happy Tuesday. Two for Tuesday. Two for Tuesday. I don't know. He was instantly knocked out. Yeah, no kidding. Jump out of a car 44 miles an hour. Not a good idea. Someone didn't take physics. Someone didn't take physics. Bye, bye, bye. Yeah. All the message. Jalen. Those fuckers are always doing something outside. Doing, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's crazy. Hello. <laughs> For some reason, Automa didn't like fuckers. Uh, we don't mind it. Uh, padre, yeah. Yeah, Alfie saw that too. At least the uh, popo didn't stand around uh, cowardly like in Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was crazy. Wow, wow, wow. Right? They didn't screw around at all. Good. Baseman, you mentioned the drums yesterday. You know the best friend of a drummer can be the bassist. Yeah, yeah. I've had some uh, bassist friends, for sure, for sure. I've had some uh, friends, good friends that have been bassists. I jammed sometimes with them. Long time ago, many many lifetimes ago, right? Boy, that what you doing? Let's go. Let's go. This internet is gonna drive me insane. Oh no. Good day, Panic. Uh, uh, Plutonic, how are you doing? Bass is better. Haha, -ha, Cheryl, I prefer drums. Drums is where it's at. Keeps the whole band going. I'll feature show. I found out recently that my wife's uncle is the drummer for Dream Theater. Really? What? Ah, crazy. A great band. Great band. Instrumental galore. Like, uh, amazing musicians. I haven't listened to him for a long time, but fantastic dream theater. Whoa, Bassman says, Gang, I want to do my little intro. And then uh, we're going to pour ourselves a drink and have a smoke. Uh, Mike Portot. Mike Portot. I don't recognize the name. Mike McNini. Portonoil. Gang, if you don't know what this work is about, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. We also have a Substack page and a Subscribe Star page. For those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, on Substack, and on Twitch, and the handful of people that are supporting us on Sensor2. Thank you very much for the support, gang. It's in large part 
because of the support we're getting on these platforms and through other means that we're able to do what it is that we are doing so i appreciate it very much gang uh thank you for being here during these live streams and sharing information and mods 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 i'm gonna salute you with a t thank you for being here and having our backs and making sure everyone's having a fantastic time salute salute Our mods on Twitch and of course our gilded server. So you're definitely welcome to come and join us on our gilded server and share information. Uh, enjoy the discussions pre, post, during <laughs> live streams. Alfie, no portnoy used to be the drummer. Current drummer is Mike Manigini. Manigini. That's right, I'm living in yesteryears. Alfie blew my mind when I found out. I uh, want to go to Massachusetts now to meet him. Nice. <laughs> I, I don't know if I've listened to the new show. I don't, I don't know how long he's been around. The Dream Theater I know is old school Dream Theater. So I haven't listened to any recent Dream Theater. Right? Cheryl, bass is one of the only instruments that can drive the rhythm. Uh, carry the bottom. Easily swap from background to lead. And or stand completely alone. Not that I'm... Uh, I'm a bassist yeah bass is amazing and by the way I'll just put this out there apologies to any bassist that might hate on me but bassists that use a pick no no when you play in bass you gotta do you gotta do this I for me I always grab gravitate towards bassists that use their fingers no pick no or, or the well sometimes you can do this but mainly this that to me was sexy right bass playing like that is sexy i've seen people using picks on bass that was like dude what are you doing maybe it's people that uh used to be guitarists and then they moved to the bass um but it's, it's gotta be this it's gotta be this right jalen uh i still kind of don't know how gilded works i haven't tried using it much uh that's probably why uh, but there's a lot going on. Yeah, it's it's just basically a forum, right? Where we share information. Uh, it's like Discord or any other forum, right? But Gilded is not censored. Discord is, so we moved on from there, right? We dropped the server we had with a thousand people on there and <laughs> started fresh on Gilded. <laughs> basis is not vocally correct. Basism, basism, haha. Uh -huh. Cheryl, they need to play more. Tender fingers, tender fingers, maybe. Alfie, I just saw flock of seagulls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You posted that on a gilded live, and I was blown away at how good their basis is. Really, wow, wow, wow. And gang, we do announce these live streams thirty minutes, an hour sometimes <laughs> before we go live on Twitter, Minds, VK Gap, Parlor, and Getter. You're definitely welcome to follow us there. And for live streams, when I'm not going to be moving around and stuff like this, I probably will be. Uh, we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com uh, as a podcast, and those podcasts should be available on uh, your favorite podcasting platform. Okay, so um, you can definitely uh, follow the work there. Uh, at some point, we'll upload all the live streams we do as a podcast, but right now, uh, it's just uh, very time-consuming to do it all. Very time-consuming to do it all. Let me take these guys down. Um, patoing, 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 and patoing. Oh, lost the map. Come here, you. So I'm gonna pour myself a drink. We're gonna do a little sample, gang. I gotta get the drink going. Uh, parlor's still around. I do announce some parlor. Uh, yeah, parlor's still around. Um, I'm not too active on anything. Uh, Twitter maybe a little bit, uh, but I'm getting sort of. Uh, tired of twitter's getting boring like all the disgusting politicians that i think should be in jail they're they're all paying twitter to have their tweets in my feed so i have to constantly block them like seriously i'm getting i was getting biden tweets i was getting trudeau tweets i was getting freeland tweets i was getting a liberal party tweets i was getting ndp tweets I was like, what is this? Like, Twitter's AI is a little broke, right? These are people I think should belong in jail, so I have to block them, right? 
Block, block, block. Elder God, how are you doing? Twitter is an abomination. <laughs> it is in large part. <laughs> yeah, check this out. Check this out. Let me bring this over. <laughs> These are the plums that I picked, right? That we made liqueur with last year, right? In fall of last year, right? Um, and I tried this a little bit this, this morning. And it's like crazy tart. Very tart, very tart. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm just going to try a little bit, right? And then we're going to make a drink out of it and have the drink. Okay. I usually use like something like this too. Whoop. So we're just going to try a little bit. I'm not going to pour it on there, just in, on top of the computer, just in case I miss. We don't want to get the computer all liquory, right? Beautiful color to it, like really phenomenal color to it let's see take a look really nice color to it like fantastic okay and it's these are tart plums so it's very tart very tart really nice like very good flavor very good flavor so this thing's been sitting for like when do we make it fall I don't know when I picked it. Uh, September, let's say September, October, around that time. So October, November, December, January, February, March. So six months this thing's been sitting. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to make... We can make a drink out of that. And I'm going to show you this as well. Let me see which one I want to drink first. I think I might want to drink the grapes instead of the plum. Because it's super tart. This would go amazing in mixes, like the plum. Uh, so good. <laughs> Biden ice cream, unbelievable. That clown, that like unbelievable. That clown, right? <laughs> Cheryl says Ellen equals poop. <laughs> Hilarious. The guy turned around. Ellen Musk came out before the last Fed hike rate, which they raised a quarter point. We're expecting a quarter. They should have really raised half a point. Right? Ellen came out and said Fed should uh, decrease half a point. I was like, dude, you got you got your head up. Uh, you know, maybe you shouldn't have dropped 44 billion for Twitter, right? But that being said, uh, it's because of Elon Musk that uh, discussion about what has transpired in the last three years has come to play. Right on that note. Gang, for those of you that might be <laughs> watching this video on SensorTube, we're 18 minutes in. It's going to be a two-hour live stream, and we've got to cut it because we already started talking about or I already started talking about things that are not permitted to talk about on SensorTube unless you say safe and effective, which, which, you know, you... you Come to our BitChute Rumble and Odyssey video, link in the description of this video, to find out what our take is on it, right? So SensorTube is, again, my apologies, a secondary platform for us now because it's completely censored, ruled by technocrats. So SensorTube video has to end now. Um, it's a nice day. You should join us. <laughs> you should join us on BitChute, Rumble and Odyssey. We're going to have some drinks, smoke a... Smoke a... Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let me bring up my torpedo. Let me bring up my torpedo. We're gonna smoke a Sancho Panza. Right? Cuban cigar. Fantastic. We did uh, uh, we did uh, H. Chopman connoisseur number two yesterday. And we're gonna have some snacks. I'm gonna show you some food. So sensor tube, sorry, gang. Bitchute Rumble and Odyssey. Okay? Link in the description.